Greetings students and welcome back to Black Belt Arcade. Now before we get into this next Elden Ring build video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the insane amount of support on the past two build videos. Uh, really means a lot and I'm really happy that you guys have been really liking them. If you guys would be so kind to, just those of you who haven't, please consider subscribing guys. We're almost at the 100 sub goal, we have 95 last time I checked. It's free and that way you guys know whenever I upload a new build video as well. But without further ado, let's get into this next one, shall we? So this is a build that I like to call the Rolling Thunderblade. Now, the theme of this build is going to be to buff the Executioner's Great Axe with lightning damage and just doing insane amounts of lightning damage to our enemies and also stance breaking them as much as possible. And let's pause the video right there real quick. Guys, this was actually supposed to be a Dark Souls 3 Dragon Slayer Armor cosplay build. And for the life of me, I could not figure out a good Great Shield to pair with the Great Axe because all of them either did not look right, did not do enough damage, did not have a good skill, or blah 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 blah, and it just did not work. So eventually I gave up on that, and I just decided to go fully into just building into the Great Axe by itself. But anyway, back into the video. So the equipment for this build is going to be the Executioner's Great Axe with the Lion's Claw Ash of War. And this is going to be a very good Ash of War for doing really high quick damage to a single target and it's also going to be very good at stance breaking our enemy as well and we're going to be using any sacred seal of your choice to buff our great axe with the electrify armament spell moving on to the armor we're going to be using at least one piece of the brighter armor set for the damage on roll effect and i will get into that once we get to the weaknesses of this build Going over the talismans, we have the Shard of Alexander for the increased damage on Lion's Claw. We have the Lightning Scorpion Charm for the increased damage on our buff. We have the Dagger Talisman for when we get a stance break from Lion's Claw. And we have the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman for the increased physical defense. So the gameplay loop is as follows. First off, we're going to be using the Flash of Wonders Visit to give us the Lightning Shrouding tier and the Dream Burst Crystal tier. Second off, we're going to be using Electrify Armament spell to, to buff our Great Axe with Lightning. Third, we're going to be using the Flame Grant Me Strength spell to give us increased attack. And last but not least, spam L2 to your heart's intent. Now this is going to be a Strength Faith build with 50 Strength and 70 Faith. Now, keep in mind, my character is level 205, so this is definitely a New Dame Plus level build. However, I am still on base New Dame. Now, let's go ahead and get into the weaknesses that I discovered using this build. First weakness I found using this build was sometimes the Lion's Claw Ash of War doesn't target correctly, and you just straight up miss. Now, this doesn't happen often, but on certain enemies, when they do certain moves, your guy will like almost like glide around them, and he'll completely miss, which... Definitely sucks because you lose 20 FP every time you use it. And also it just leaves you open for a counter attack or you waste stamina. It's, it's just not good. The next weakness that I found was you are almost always going to be trading a hit with your enemy. Now the reason for this is because the Lion Slot Ash of War actually has infinite poise. So as soon as you press L2, you are not gonna get interrupted out of that move like no no enemy attack is going to interrupt it your guy is gonna do the move no matter what so what i did to kind of counter the uh i guess the damage from your enemy trading a hit with you is i put on the dragon press great shield talisman like i said but this is the big thing here i also use the melania's great rune with this setup which gives you health back after you've just gotten hit. So what I did here was I would use that and then I would trade a hit with my enemy and then as soon as they hit me, I'm mid animation with the Ash of War. And when I hit them, I regain some of the health they just hit me back. And when they're on the ground, what I'll do is I'll roll next to them once or twice to get even more of that health back. And that's why we have one of the pieces of the Briar armor set on. The strengths of this build though, however, is it is insanely good at taking down the night enemies in all regions, and it's also very good at just single target damage in general. Another strength of this build, I feel, is it is just a lot easier to use than the last video I put up, the Holy Rail Gun. Make sure you guys go check that one out if you have not yet. But yeah, I feel this one's a lot easier to use and easier to understand, because really, the entire gameplay loop is put on all your buffs, and then spam L2. 
But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure you guys please comment down below and let me know what you kind of are thinking about this build, whether you like it, whether you don't, if there's something I missed to maybe make it better. I love the feedback, guys, and I always appreciate it. But thank you again, guys, for watching, and until next time, peace out and stay safe.